Hello level friends, another gem is the level soul method on the query builder. Let me show you why. I do have in my database payments and I want to get a specific one with the identifier kind of ID of one, two, three, four, five. And if I run this, I get my record back. And mostly when you do this, you also want to make sure what happens if there is no result. So let's check out with this ID, then you would get null back. In this case, you would have to check if it's null, then you would have to do something. So in many cases like this, what you want to do is use first or fail, because this gives you the possibility to handle the situation when there is no record. And here, for example, this is a model not found um, exception, which is thrown. And now this gives you the chance to listen for this. And then if it happens, you can yeah, decide what you want to do with that. But another thing that could happen here is if we run this now with account. Okay, here we get zero examples. But if we change it back to the ID from before, we now have two results. So this means we have two payments with the same identifier. Of course, you would argue now this should never happen. Probably you would already check this in the database, make sure that the identifier column is unique. But maybe you haven't done this. Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you're not just having one where clause, but different ones, but still you want to make sure there's only one record. So yeah, there is a better way to make this a little bit more secure on the query side as well with level, which is so. So what Soul does it, it also gives you the first item back if there is one, but what it also does, it will tell you if there are more records than just one. And here we have two. If we take a look here, what this is, this is a multiple records not found exception. So Level tried this, found multiple records, and it threw an, ex threw an exception that tells you, hey, there are more records in the database, so maybe this is not something that you want. And in most cases, this is not what you want. So what I would argue here in this example, whenever you think about using first or fail, probably sole is the better option to use because there are very few sole, um, use cases where um, you really want to just get the first one and if not fail, and you still allow multiple records with the same conditions in the database. So think about this the next time you use first or fail, probably sole is the better solution. Also interesting here, if we run this again first of fail and i'm now showing also the query let me enable this here in tinkerwell and if we spell this correct we can see here this makes a limit by one of course a little bit different here is what soul does if we run this as well because now we have a limit of two because we want to check if there is another record so this also means that soul maybe is slightly slower than first of fail but in most scenarios that's not something you have to think about Besides that, I have another example for you, and this is now inside a test. So here in this test, we are um, getting a user, then we're running a specific action that creates a payment. And then here in the assertion part, we want to make sure that we have one and that the amount is a specific amount. And if I run this, this should pass, and it does. So no big deal here. We're using first to get the first payment because yeah, we're only creating one here through this method, and then we can just get the first one. And it works, so all good. But I've been working on a lot of very big test cases and, and then it's easy with this approach that you run into some issues. So what we're doing here is before each method runs before each of my tests, I'm going to create a new payment. Let's use the factory to do this. So it's a common use case like in a setup method that you create a specific item in the database in a table that you need probably for every test. And now when we run this, of course, this will fail now because now we have different values because the one which we created with the factory has a different amount set than the one that we are creating here. So of course, in this test, it's probably pretty obvious why this is not um, as good and why you should avoid this. But in a big test week, this is something that you can oversee very, very easily because you have a lot of tests, you have big tests, you have big setup methods and then it can easily happen that in your table, in your database, when you run the test, you have probably more items. And again, here the issue is about the amount. And it's pretty difficult to see now why this is failing because you think, okay, this action now creates a different amount than the one that we passed. So maybe it's about the action. And this is now pretty difficult to debug. And another way to make this way better here and to give us also an exception that we can work with is here the soul method. Because again, it will 
get me the first item but it will also fail if there are multiple ones and of course yeah here are two records in our database as well and now this gives you much more clue about what's going on and now you can see okay we have more items so it's not about this here it's maybe something about the whole test and then you could maybe check um, your whole test file and see maybe that this is happening or something else and this will help you a lot while debugging your test suite so yeah think about trying to use the sole method in your test when you were using the first method thank you mohammed who introduced this method in 2021 have you already used it please let me know in the comments how and when thank you see you the next time bye